Hi, welcome to Blockholic. In this video, we are going to see the difference between a blockchain and other traditional databases like SQL and NoSQL. So, in my earlier videos, we have been talking about the block and the block will have some kind of a transactions and it has some kind of a data. So, when I am talking about the data, you might have observed that the data, we also can store it in the databases. Right. The next foremost question is that how blockchain is different from a normal database and blockchain. Uh, what is the difference between a blockchain and a traditional databases? Right. In this video, we are going to cover that. Let's see. So let's compare between a blockchain and databases. So of course, we compare Apple to Apple. Right. Here, as you referred that the blockchain is also a database. Let's see how it is different with the traditional database and blockchain. Let's start with the operations. So what kind of operations we can perform in a traditional database like SQL? We can perform CRUD operation. That means create, read, update and delete. But in blockchain, we can be able to only insert and view data. That means whatever the data is going inside the blockchain, it cannot be deleted or it cannot be edited but it can be updated when i say update the current transaction of the block will not be updated but there will be an other record which is going to add it to that particular transaction so what will happen let's say i have i have put my name after some time i changed my name so what will happen when you go back and check your database in the blockchain you can be able to see two different names that means one name is entered at some point of time and the other name is entered at different point of time but in the traditional database like sql if you overwrite my name let's say you went to my sql and then you changed my name from a to b then what will happen the existing name will vanish and the new name will come out into the picture so by any chance you cannot be able to get the earlier name because it's already overwritten right in blockchain it won't happen like that so you can be able to insert the data and you can be able to view the data and the second one is owner who is the owner of the blockchain no one owns the blockchain you know everybody have the blockchain data in the traditional databases the entity owner the owner of the organization can be able to have a complete access if you want if you don't want it if i feel that you know i have been fired from the company and then if i have an access to the database i'll just delete it you know this kind of a people we have it but in the blockchain it won't happen actually like that so you don't have to worry that someone is going to delete based on their you know current situation and the third one is edit access if you are going to do any kind of a modifications an administrator of the database can able to make some changes. Let's say uh, my bank balance is $10,000 and if I feel like if I have an access to the database, I'll just change it to the $50,000. Right? It, it happens. But in blockchain, it won't happen like that. You cannot actually able to edit any kind of a data and it is not possible. And replication. The data is available at the admin and if something goes wrong to the database, you know, let's say someone wrote a query to drop the database and shh, the data is gone. Now you cannot get it by any way back. Okay, there is com some companies who maintain a backup. That's okay. The backup might be yesterday's, but you did so many transactions today and the data is corrupted just before. So what happens? All your data is vanished right so even though you have a data it may not be updated but in the blockchain there is no single point of failure because the data is available in all the peers let's say there are thousand peers in the network all the thousand peers will have an a copy of the database if someone you know trying to delete modify or do something or corrupt it it will be corrupted only in that particular system but it won't have affect to the other systems and consensus in databases there is no consensus anybody can enter the data but in blockchain peers will have to confirm the outcome of the transaction who the majority of peers accept the transaction that transaction only can go into the blockchain and last but not least verification if i want to verify someone's attendance 
for example in an enterprise i cannot do it because only an administrator can have an access to it but in blockchain it won't happen like that anybody can view the data that is the main reason that the organizations will create their own private network because and it won't be accessible by public makes sense right and that's all for this video if you like my video please comment below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching